Um, hello everybody and everything. It is Ava Beva. Hope you're all having a really beautiful day today and that you're taking care of yourselves. So I do want to give a viewer discretion towards this animated video. This does contain topics around expressing fetish and sexual themes and something that isn't, uh, if this is something that's potentially triggering towards you if you're not ready to listen to it at the moment, that's absolutely okay. Um, this is definitely a very sensitive more take on this video because it's really exploring the idea of what it means and not only to make the concepts of prostitution and sexual health and well-being be more accessible towards people, but also what it means to uh, extend that towards children as well. And I feel like it's really important to really regard that this is a really valid topic, you know, what it means to normalize these things towards kids and have them know that any kind of way they need to express this kind of stuff is something that's very nuanced. And this kind of environment, Hope is giving a client who is 12 years old that chance to really explore what it means to embrace that level of fetish. Also respecting that the stage that they're at in their own sexual journey is something that's very, very delicate. Um, with that being said, hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. And remember that your sexual journey matters and I'm really proud of wherever you are right now. Take care, see ya. And probably go for a walk outside, uh, talk to a friend or two, or you know, masturbate, whatever you need to. Just do whatever makes your heart happy. That's what matters most. Hello there, love. <laughs> um, hi. Hello. <laughs> hi. It's really nice seeing you both. Um, alright, so my name is Hope Lee. Can tell me what yours is? <laughs> um... Take your time, dear. Take your time. It's your first time being here, right? So I understand if you're really, really nervous. So, what's your name? Okay. <laughs> um, alright. Uh, Take uh, your time. My... My name is, uh... Uh... My name's Tanequa. Um... I, 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 I don't really know what my pronouns are at the moment. Um, I'm, I am, I'm 12. Okay. And I have a, a foot fetish. Well, Tanequa, um, I'm really glad you told me all that. Um, so what's it like for you, coming here, exploring that? Yeah. I... I had never been in a prostitution space before. Mm-hmm. Um, but my parents tell me that it's okay that I, I wanted to come here. Of course. I'm really scared, to be honest. I, that's absolutely common, okay? There's no shame in that. This is something new for people. Yeah. Yeah, there's no shame, yeah. dear. Not to Nikwa. I'm really glad you came here to come and get assistance. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to share with me? Okay. And take your time, dear. Tanikwa J. Uh, my name is Taniqua J. Taniqua J. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for telling I me. I think Taniquiche. my um, I think my uh, my cornrows are really pretty, mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> I rock some cornrows beforehand too. I kind of switch because of the texture of my hair. <laughs> um, that's really beautiful. I I may want to be a prostitute, um, at some point. It's absolutely valid. I'm, I'm just I'm in school right now, so I I I don't know. <laughs> what do you want to be? I'm thinking about. I I really like marine life, though. I I really think about um being able to study ocean life, like like um ocean uh, mammals. Mm. I really like that. Um. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe one day I'll go to, um, i go to, uh, CUNY to do it, but I don't know yet. That's a long way away, so, yeah. 
We have a lot of time on your hands, and it's not gonna go away any kind of point of time. I support you on that. That's Thank awesome. you. Awesome. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Just ease. All right. It's meant to be a safe space for everybody. Right. All right. Okay. Tanique, well, you're really brave for coming in here. Well, it's just for you to share with me. Please don't be aggressive with it. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> um, I don't mean it in a in a negative way. You're so cute. I have a question. What is it, dear? Um, do you do you ever like? Do you, do you guys get stressed out if a client starts to cry? It depends. We do get a little bit stressed, but it's responsibility to make sure you guys are alright. Okay. Yeah, it's it's normal sometimes. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, dear. I cried sometimes. Um, because I get reminded of just the rejection I get at, from my friends. Alright. They don't really like the fact that I I want to I want to practice uh, masturbating and that involving my fetish in any way. I, I want to talk to them about it, but they say that it makes them uncomfortable. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I, um, I'm, I'm organic, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm organic, um. I'm glad you told me that. It, it varies for every individual, and I know with, um. I see. With AI, it could change the way you experience yeah, I, sens a sentence in any kind of way. I may get a modification, um, to have that be a more nice experience. I see. Um, like, what kind of modification are you thinking, dude? <laughs> it's like those artificial emotion um, tablets where it allows you. Oh. oh. Okay. Where it allows you to experience um, uh, alien emotions, uh, even things that um, Bionutes have. One of my children is a Bionute. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. One <laughs> of my children is a Bionute. Um, his I'm, name is I'm autistic, so I, I take a little bit of time to speak. Thank you for telling me that. Thank, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. One of my partners is autistic, so I'm used to any kind of thing that you may need from me. All right. And I mean that dearly, okay? Hope. Yeah. Thanks, Hope. No, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Um, but I want you to feel absolutely safe, Tanique J. Um, did I get your name right? No, okay. <laughs> All righty. Um, but it's absolutely important that you're allowed to come here. The stuff wasn't always normal for children in any kind of way. Or people who identify as children, right? Um, because, you know, the idea of prostitution and colliding that with kids' well-being, that's a really, like, diverse thing for people. Um, but it's, it's a really beautiful thing that not only are we able to have this talk with each other, but it's something that you have accessibility towards. You're able to explore in an environment where you're, you're surrounded by a bunch of kin and things and everything that have experience with this. Yeah. So I just want to tell you, yeah. Taniqua, you are really, really, really powerful in a way handling this. And you just saying that it feels like a problem for you is one of the best steps that you could take towards a sexual healing, okay? Okay. Um... <laughs> So I, I'm really glad you told me about your boundaries. <laughs> I'm glad you told me you know, about your identity <laughs> and your interests. That allows us to know our clients more so we're able to understand how they are during, uh, during sex. And that's the thing too, like even exploring things like kink and fetish. That is a part of sexual pleasure. Like there's different ways to masturbate and experience sex. It isn't just like 
penetration or that or conventional ideas of mating anything like that it's absolutely different like okay. i i live in um richmond hill do you live near there I live in Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Flatbush. And I experience a variety of things with my spouses over there. Even Titanium, who is like, who's like 21 years old now. And I'm able to have those experiences with him even more easily. Because it's normal for Jabba Lily. If you're educated on that, uh, on the identity. They're teaching us in yeah, school. It's absolutely normal for them. So just let you know that you know anything that you need, who need to pause, who need to go so it's awesome. But I want you to tell me how we go about this. I'm gonna tell you what my needs are from you. Okay. Because I am still someone who works here. <laughs> I'm not um I'm not hardwired to to go about things in a kind of blunt way. It's important that you communicate. And that's what compensating is, right? So I want you to tell me what you need. I'm going to tell you what I need from you. And that's how this is going to be successful. Su- sorry. Successful experience. Okay. All right. All right. Hope. All, right. All right. So what do you want me to do first? And we'll start from there. Um, I, I, I first just want to keep all my clothes on. That's is that right. okay? Yep. That's absolutely <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, the, the, they usually... Usually, you ever just show uh, sex. <laughs> sex is not a bad word. You can say it anyway. Sex is not a bad word. Okay. But you also could be. <laughs> it's also valid. Uh, thanks for telling me. You're welcome, um, dear. They they usually show where you have to be like half naked or naked, but uh, I just I just want to keep my clothes on for now so I feel comfortable going into it. That's absolutely valid. Okay. <laughs> um, that's valid. You don't have to do it in any particular way. Yeah, and I want to keep my, my socks on, too. Is that okay? That's okay, too. That's absolutely all right. All righty. I need to ask you, though, if they're dirty or clean any kind of way. Um, um, that just allows me to know what I'm dealing with before we go into anything. Yeah, my, my parents told me that I should have cleaned them before... Um, they're not clean right now. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with changing them. Alrighty, dude. Because I want to make sure yeah. that I just feel safe going into it. And there's prostitutes that do feel okay with dirty socks. It's absolutely fine. But for oh. me, I want to just concern just, you know, anything kind of things like uh, stomach viruses and things like that. You know, it's spiritually different for everybody, but for me, it ain't my style, but also could be somebody else's style. But okay. thank you for telling me. That's how we compensate. Uh, alrighty. Uh, thank you for telling me that, Hope. Of course, Snake with Jay. Okay. Um, so, so you know, um, my parent that brought me here is a past person. Um, and they requested that they take off their spirit solidifier to be with me, so they're helping me right now. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. I do know. Okay. I do know, I do understand. Oh, alright. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, alright, I'm gonna start holding you here. And I just want you to make you any noises that your heart says, okay? I'm gonna rub into your soul. Mace, uh, mace. Um, yeah. <laughs> mace? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mace, Jay. Mm. Okay. All right. You good. Just keep breathing, okay? Good. 
Good. Mm. Okay. I'll 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 try. Mm. Okay. Let's mm. keep breathing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Hope Lee. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just moan any way that your body wishes mm -hmm. to. That's how you release pheromones. Mm -hmm. That's how you release just all the energy you have inside of you. Mm. That's your body's love language. Yeah, this this is this is uh, this is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep rubbing into the foot of your soul. Your parent is allowing me to ask you if, um, no. do you feel stressed in any kind of way? A little bit. Okay, dear. I'm not gonna pause, okay? Okay. I'm going to put my other hand on your foot, okay? I'm going to hold it right here. Alright. Okay. Do you feel us both? Alright then. You're protected. Your form of fetish is pure. You deserve to be seen and to honor how you sensually and spiritually connect with yourself. Okay. All right. Then. We could pause as many times as we want. All right, for the time that we have. Or we could go in any kind of pace. I just need you to tell me, okay? Okay. It's my job to compensate and make sure that you're. You being overwhelmed is not your fault. 
The only responsibility you have is to meet me halfway. That's it. Okay. 